Okay, so here I am on Google, and this is where you're going to start your assignment for today. Um, remember last week when we did our um, research on an influential black person? And so hopefully you already have that person selected. And what you're gonna do is you're going to type their name into Google so that you can find a picture of them and then you're going to draw it and that's gonna be your assignment for this week. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. So if you remember from last week, the person that I selected was Barack Obama. So I'm gonna type in oops, Barack Obama into Google. And then when I hit enter, the first thing that's gonna come up is gonna be the websites that have information about Barack Obama. But I want a picture of Barack Obama. So I'm gonna go up to where it says images and I'm gonna click on images and that's gonna give me some pictures. So the first option that you can do is you can select a picture that you would like to try to draw and then you can just draw it by looking at your computer screen. Now that can be very difficult because people are hard to draw. So another way that you can do it is you can go into Google and you can type in, you can type in how to draw and then type in your person's name. So how to draw Barack Obama. And then when you Google search that, you should come up with some videos. So you should be able to click on videos and a few different um, YouTube videos will come up and then you find the one that you wanna do. Now, sometimes if you type in four kids, you can come up with some easier videos. So let's see what that one looks like when we click on that one. So you can find a video that is gonna show you how to draw your famous person. And then if you don't like that option, there is one more option that I think will probably work the best for everyone. So we're gonna use an image um, you can use an image, like just a photograph of your famous person, or sometimes what I like to do is to type into the search box the person's name and then either cartoon or drawing, or I'm gonna type in painting and see if somebody else already did some artwork of our famous person. So I'm gonna go down until I find a painting that I like. I like this one, so I'm gonna click on that one and try to get the picture to um, show up as big as you can get it. So if you click on the painting and then it'll bring it up on this side of your screen, um, it'll kind of be a little bit small. So if you can try to get it any bigger, sometimes you can click on the name of the website and it'll take you to the website where that um, picture is and if you can make it any bigger I think that this is gonna make it bigger for us well that's as big as I can get it so let's just use that you're gonna take a white piece of paper and if you don't have any white paper you could always use um, some lined paper that you have at your house um, but it does have to be um, kind of um, clear like a thin piece of white paper or a um, a piece of that lined paper. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put it right over top of your computer screen. So put it over your computer screen and then you're gonna get a pencil. You can't use a Sharpie or a marker of any kind because that might bleed through the paper and actually make a mark on your computer screen. So use a pencil. If you don't have just a regular pencil, use a colored pencil. Um, I guess technically you could use a crayon too if you want to. And you're just gonna start tracing the painting or the drawing or whatever picture that you found that you like of your famous person and you're gonna go ahead and trace it. Do the best you can um, to not forget any of the lines because if you kind of, if you forget some of the lines, it's not gonna really look right. So. Right now I just did like the outline and then I'm gonna do 
the ears. Now I need to do the hair. And then you can start doing the facial features. I would say the best um, picture to use for this project is gonna be just the person's face. If you try to do their whole body, um, it might not really look that good um, just because it's gonna be so small. I don't think you're gonna be able to see all the details. Um, so try to find like a big picture of the person's face and then trace all of the lines. And like I said, I think it will be easier if you um, type in like drawing or painting instead of trying to do like an actual photograph of the person. That actual photograph of the person might be a little bit more difficult. All right, so then when I pull my paper away, I have a nice picture of Barack Obama. Now what I can do now is look at the difference between these two. Because right now I just have a pencil drawing. So see how different this is over here on the computer? So the next thing that I want to do is kind of go in with a Sharpie or a black and um, color in his hair, color in his eyebrows, and kind of add those black um, parts of this drawing and then even I could go in with like the blue and the orange and kind of add that to it um, and then I would be done. So if you don't have any colors at home then you can just um, turn in the pencil drawing but if you do have some colors at home go ahead and color that in and then submit it onto Schoology. Okay so I took my crayons and I went in with a black crayon and an orange crayon and a blue crayon and basically just tried to recreate um, what the painting looked like on the computer screen. So like I said, once you get it all drawn with a pencil, then go ahead and go in and add some color and then once it's all finished, then make sure you post it on Schoology.